Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some brand new Moments cards. They're actually pretty sweet and make me feel extremely old. We also got some new 99 overall icons from the Shades of Summer event and some confirmation on some of the new Master Set players that we're going to get in the Shades of Summer event. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content, as well as check me out on Twitch. I go live at noon Eastern time, twitch.tv slash nosleeves12. Let's get into the content for today. So today we got the 95 Zach Parise and Ryan Suter, and this was done nine years ago. Like, I remember being at work going, oh my god, I can't believe Minnesota got them both. And even more crazy, I completely forget that Ryan Suter was a Nashville pro. Like, what an absolute dominant defensive pairing with him and Weber. But nonetheless, let's check out the new Minnesota Wild event cards that we got today. So we'll start off with the 95, Zach Parise with two to heart and soul. And two to howitzer and gladiator is effectively making him 97 speed. And then basically 99 everything else. This is a phenomenal card and a, a really good representation, or a really good, sorry, um, you know, NHL moment card. I think that they've done a great job, EA has, with these NHL moments as opposed to like doing random prime times. I think this is a really, really great idea. And I hope it's something that carries over in NHL 22. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've liked these kind of sporadic random NHL moments from the past. I've really enjoyed them so far. And this Zach Parise looks to be a really, really good card. And then we got the 95 Ryan Suter with Distributor, Light the Lamp, and Shutdown. Less effective than uh, some of the other defensemen at the high end because if, unless you have Barrage, his shot is only in the low 90s with uh, with Shutdown activated in terms of his slap shot. But he is 6'2", and his speed is only capped at 94. So there are better options, no doubt. Um, but this is still a, a really, really good card nonetheless. You can't really complain at this stage, like I said. But the Deking is only 89. So he is going to play a little bit stiffer, but uh, nonetheless, a, a really, really good card, like I said, reflecting on a big moment for the Minnesota Wild. But my God, those contracts look so bad now. <laughs> so next up among the 99 releases, we got the 99 Ed Belfour. Look at that mullet. And a lot of people forget that he was ever a San Jose Shark, but nonetheless... Ed Belfort cards just until they figure out something to make goaltenders just you know um, have a bigger advantage um, when they're shorter. I don't know how they'll ever do it, but it's just uh, Ed Belfort's never been a goaltender that you can use and then succeed in game. Unfortunately, um, obviously his synergies are fine. There's really no complaints there. But same song and dance the last few years. He is too short, unfortunately, in the game to be any good. Um, even with the changes they made this year in terms of stat prog progression for the uh, shorter goaltenders. And then we got the 99 Yvonne Cornway, 5'7", 99 everything. This was honestly a really, really fun card to use in NHL 21 um, with the obviously that, that straight line speed meta that we've had throughout the year. Obviously, everything at 99, you want taller guys, but for whatever reason, he was a lot more shifty and felt really fun and fast to use, a lot like Gila Fleur, just a little bit shorter, obviously, or Howie Morenz. Um, so there's really no harm in using him, and his shot, Always played higher, especially early on, than than his stats indicate. Now, obviously, everything's 99, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but this was a really fun card. And honestly, if you had Yvonne Cornway, um, the, the master icon, I would probably do the upgrade set. I mean, again, at everything 99, that's kind of worth. Then lastly, something I want to talk about. I did get confirmation. I said in my prior video that we've got the 98 JT Miller and Sergachev. And then, obviously, we've got six more master icons that haven't been revealed yet. Uh, Kaprizov and Keandre Miller, they're not included in this. So we will get six more new master icons. So that is cool. Um, it, they won't be included in this. I'm not sure, uh, you know, what the plans are for that. But nonetheless, um, I did get confirmation from the EA that, uh, yeah, it does look like there will be six brand new ones, which is extremely cool. And I'm happy that uh, that was able to be done, guys. So, um, again, I like uh, not a ton of content comes out, but it's something I've mentioned and something I've talked about in the Wishlist series. Um, this new moments, like the, the way that they've done moments this year, really, really awesome way to do a highlight of cards. The only thing I hate is that it's only in packs for like a day or so. I think they should be in packs for good or at least like a month, something like that. I don't really see the reason as to why they should, they can't be, um, because they are so exclusive and, uh, that really, you know, increases their value, but then players really can't get them. So, um, especially this late in the year when really no one's pulling packs. So. 
just something to keep in mind there. But yeah, I really like the content today. Not a ton, but some really cool cards. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily NHL videos. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.